G'day! Greg James here, talking to you from Greg James Fishing World. And today we're making beach tucker butter to go with your fresh fish. It's a great little recipe. We'll be making three knobs of butter. So you'll be making butter knobs with a fishing knob. And we'll first go through the ingredients. We're going to use natural ingredients, most of which I've grown myself. And it's a really different way of making something to fry your fish in or cook your fish with. So, first of all, you'll need some butter. Or as the French will say, le butter. We have over here some sun-dried quondong skins, or wild peaches as we call them in Australia. We have baby spring onions. We have some Korean wasabi paste. And the final, oh, <coughs> it's not the final ingredient, sorry. Some must have left that there from last night. We have one of my favourite fruits, an Australian bush lime. It's bush caviar, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you in a moment how good it looks. And here we have some beautiful homegrown chilies. I wanted to show you again just how gorgeous these bush limes are, Australian bush limes. I've got a very sharp knife and I'll just start slicing through the outside skin. And have a look at that. And if you look at it, just how beautiful the little pellets of lime come out of the skin when you squeeze it. They're just gorgeous. They have a delicious citrusy and almost an aniseed smoky flavour. You can put them in your tea, in your beverages, in your fresh water. But it's a delight to put with butter and fresh fish. And I call it the Greg James Bush Caviar. So what I'm doing now, just quickly, I chopped up all these ingredients. So you've got the bush lime going in here. I'm rehydrating. If you look in there carefully, you'll see the chopped up uh, skin of the dried quondong or bush peach, wild peach. And I'm hydrating that a little with just a splash of water in my little mixing bowl. So there we go. And you use these quite liberally. They're terrific taste. So in this one here, we've got a mixture of rehydrating quondong skins. The bush lime, like I explained. In the one next to it, on your left, we have some chopped chilli. And in the further to your left, we have the small, lightly coloured green spring onions chopped to mix in with our butter. I have my bowl, I have my butter spoon, and we're now going to make the first of our knobs of butter, which is one with wasabi paste. So we have our bowl, we have our wasabi paste, we have our butter. So we take out a couple of healthy scoops of our butter, and we put it into the bowl and very simply add a good generous squeeze of this delicious wasabi paste. So this takes a bit of patience, you've just got to now fold this through itself and as the butter softens after being in the fridge you'll end up with a really creamy looking pale green mixture. Oh, you can smell the fumes on that. I won't do this at any speed because as the real chefs of the world know, and I'm certainly not a real chef by any stretch of the imagination, some milk products and similar can curdle if you over mix them and overdo them. So I'm almost finished. Okay, there we have it. Now for the next step. This is the real piece de resistance, as I said a moment ago. Some cling wrap, some glad wrap, some plastic wrap. You'll say, what do you need this for? Well, this is my secret. Pull that out, cut it off, have it flat on your board like that. You have your wasabi infused butter. It's a very manageable viscosity or thickness or texture. Take it nice and slow, you don't have to rush it. See a slightly different colour? Fold it over itself like you're almost wrapping a piece of uh, food to freeze because that's exactly what we're going to do. Pat it down a little bit so it just resembles a sort of a rounder shape if one likes and then turn the glad wrap or the plastic wrap against itself. That's it and there we are. Tie it off and there we have it. Kitchen scissors, snip off the loose ends and voila! In it goes. In the little freezer just like that and guess what? A couple of days ago I made an earlier one and the idea is that's what your finished product, product looks like when the time comes to use it you take it out of the freezer let it thaw a little 
and then slice it with your sharp knife and you're able to then use it in the hot pan with your fish. Back again with our second knob of beach tucker butter. Chilli and spring onion mixed with our butter. Couple of little bits of butter, little scoops I should say. A slight sprinkle of beautiful homegrown chopped chilli. This hasn't been dried, this is all natural. Gorgeous little chopped up pieces of, not chives, but homegrown springies. Mix it through itself, fold it over. Take your time. And we have it. There it is. Looks terrific, even like it is. Bit of the plastic wrap. Out it comes. Stretch it out. See it taking shape. Roll it over. Look at that. Beautiful. Get your shape right. Snip off the ends of your clad wrap. That is a knob of butter infused with chilli flakes or chilli chop and gorgeous spring onion. Straight into the freezer for you and we'll go on and do our next one. Okay Rob, what are we doing today Dale? And in this little bowl here we've actually drained the rehydrated bush quandons or wild peaches as they're known and our lovely homegrown bush limes. So we're just folding the ingredients together at the moment. It's just about there, like that. You only have to do small amounts because all you want to do is infuse a little bit of flavoured butter that you can use for your cooking with your fish or scallops even. Just fold it over on itself and roll it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to twist it until it makes like a little sausage. Or a bonbon. Oh, now that's an interesting word. It's a bonbon. Bon. Butter bonbon. A butter bonbon. So we've got it quite firm and neat. And that can go into the freezer as is. It's tight. It won't come apart. And when you want to use it, all you need to do is take it out and unwrap it. Bon appétit. Mm -hmm.